All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about spermatogenesis and oogenesis, the two different ways that humans make their gametes. So spermatogenesis, obviously happening in males, um, is going to start out with the spermatogonium. And the spermatogonium is just like any of your other cells, right? It's, uh, it's 2N, so it's just like a skin cell. Um, and it, just like a skin cell, can mitotically divide. So it can go through this stage of mitosis. So that way, um, whenever it's not going to go through meiosis, it can just uh, go ahead and replicate more of itself. That happens more in males than females, and we'll find out why in a minute. Um, but the start out with your spermatogonium. And what's interesting about the spermatogonium is it actually has a, we call it something different when it decides to go through meiosis. So we can call this prophase one, I guess. Um, but what's important here is that he's actually, this guy right here is actually not going, it's not done with meiosis one whenever it gets it right here. Um, it's actually just making the decision to go into meiosis that's gonna trigger the change to the primary spermatocyte. And because it hasn't finished meiosis one yet, it's this guy, just like the spermatogonium, is still gonna be 2N. Um, and then once it actually goes through, so we can call this line right here meiosis 1. So once it's finished with meiosis 1, it's going to be a secondary spermatocyte. And because we call meiosis 1 the reductional division, the um, secondary spermatocytes here are both going to be N. So this is where we actually half our chromosome number is when we go from our primary spermatocyte to our secondary spermatocyte. And then our second division right here, meiosis 2, is going to be um, the equational division like we learned when we were learning meiosis. Um, so here we're going to have a spermatid. And then there isn't a whole lot of actual stuff to know that goes on between the spermatid and what we call the mature sperm down here other than the fact that it's a maturation process, so don't get too worried about the specifics there. Um, that's outside the scope of this genetics class. But what is important and kind of the take home point here is that um, spermatogonium is what we start with. It's 2N and it can mitotically divide to make more spermatogonium that are identical to itself. Um, and then once it makes the decision to go into meiosis here, um, so we said prophase one, but technically it's just that making that decision, um, then it becomes a primary spermatocyte. So primary spermatocytes are still 2N, um, they haven't completed meiosis one, and when you actually finish meiosis one is when you become a secondary spermatocyte. Um, so that's important when we get to oogenesis, which we'll cover that and the difference between the two in the next video. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what genetics class you are taking. However, the concepts in this video are referencing material from this specific textbook. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during normal business hours. For more information about our services, please visit our website www.baylor.edu. Thank you.